Hi, I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from basicboardgovernance.ca. Today I'm talking about fiduciary duty and COVID-19. Every board has a fiduciary duty to do what is best for the organization. This hasn't changed. Boards, however, are facing many decisions that have to be made with incomplete information. No one knows when this pandemic will be over. That old saying, your guess is as good as mine, has never been as accurate as it is these days. So how does a board manage risk in the face of so much uncertainty? How do you plan? One technique is to figure out how long the organization can continue to exist if there's no more money coming through the door. Ask management to calculate the monthly fixed costs, the costs that are continuing even without any activity, and to look at the amount of money in the bank. A rough calculation will tell you how long until the money runs out and the organization is out of business. If you have a year or more before the money runs out, then this issue is far less severe than if the answer is that you're going to be out of money in three months or less. Can you prolong operations by reducing the fixed costs? Are we taking full advantage of the government programs that are available to fight COVID-19? There are loans, there are wage subsidies, there's a lot of information available on these programs. How much longer could we operate if we're going to qualify for a wage subsidy? What if we ask lenders to forego payments for a year? There are many interesting questions that will be explored at board meetings. We may be facing a stressful time, but you can't say that it isn't interesting.